Hi friends, I would like to share a few reflections after a long pilgrimage as a Christian. Hopefully they will help you grow in wisdom and discernment. If you don't have time to pray, ask God for time to pray. When we finish the work assigned to us, we are permitted to return home to Christ. There never is a time on this earth, in this world, when we are to stop our single-minded, utterly fervent pursuit of Christ. If we do, we rapidly lose the touch of God on our life. Have you noticed that? We return to the filth of the flesh. By our example, we cause others to lose zeal also. The end of this is the rebuke and chastening of the Lord. Salvation without a change in character of the individual is not a genuine salvation, only vain religion. We have the blood atonement that satisfies God concerning the guilt of our sins. We have the baptism with the Holy Spirit that gives us the necessary wisdom and power. We have been born again of the seed of God. Now, now it is time for God to make us in His image, which will require eternal changes in our personality such that the darkness is driven from us and Christ comes to maturity in us. The first man in the image of God to appear on the earth is the Lord Jesus Christ. Now Eve, so to speak, is being formed in Christ's inner image and shall be in His outward likeness. Together they are men. Today the bride of the Lamb is in tatters, rugs, torn in pieces. From this point forward, the Lamb will begin the process of removing the tatters, the rugs, and imparting the, to the bride His divine character. When the Lamb is finished, the bride will be without any blemish, whatever, hallelujah. We are not being created to live in heaven forever. We are being created to be an integral part of the Lamb forever. God knows better than to entrust the works of His hands to someone other than Himself. God has entrusted everything to the Lord Jesus Christ because Christ is an integral part of God. When we become an integral part of Christ, then God will entrust us with the works of His hands and we shall judge and govern all. Hallelujah. If we are not with God, Christ, the saints and holy angels, now, now, we won't, we won't be with them when we die. We will be as close, we will be as close to Christ then as we are now. Our doctrinal position will not affect our relationship to Christ now or then. We may be interested in the correctness of doctrine. Christ is interested in the character of people. The purpose of the salvation which is in the Lord Jesus Christ is to make us righteous in character so we can have fellowship with God and bring and maintain paradise wherever we are, especially on the earth. This is the kingdom of God, saints. This is the kingdom of God. It is not as is currently taught to ascribe righteousness to our unchanged nature so we can live in bliss forever in heaven with the angels. Oh man, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next Reflection episode.